in the human body the mandible the in the human body the mandible changes its shape and size in the uh, size in the newborn baby in the newborn baby the um, body of the mandible is small the body of the mandible is small and in two halves united by a fibrous symphysis menti the ramus is small and the coronal process is more prominent and the body of the uh, of the bone is more mere shell containing two sockets of the two incisor the canine and the two deciduous molar teeth imperfectly partitioned partitioned off from one another there is uh, there is a partition uh, between one another the mandibular canine is of large size and runs near the lower border of the bone the mental foramen opens beneath the socket of the first deciduous molar teeth the angle is of the 175 degree and the condyloid portion is nearly in line with the body the coronary process is is of uh, comparatively large size and projects above the level of the condyle Uh, now in the old age in the in the children in children there is fusion of symphysis menti and by age of three years the body grows in height length and width the ramus increases in size with development of condylar process angle is 140 degree or more and the two segments of the bone becomes joined at the symphysis from below upwards in the first year but a trace of separation may be visible in the beginning of the second year near the alveolar margin the body becomes elongated in its whole length but more especially behind the mental foramen to provide space for the three additional teeth development in the part in this part the, the, uh, the depth of the body increases owing to increased growth of the alveolar part to afford room for the roots of the teeth and by thickening the subdental portion which enables the jaw to withstand the powerful action of the masticatory muscles but the alveolar portion but the alveolar portion is the deeper of the two and consequently consequently the chief part of the body lies above the oblique line and the mandibular canal after the second dentition uh, is situated just above the level of the mylohyoid line and the mental foramen occupies the position usual in the adult the angle becomes less obtuse weighing the separation of the jaws by the teeth about the fourth year it is 140 degree now in the adulthood in the adult in the adulthood the mental foramen opens midway between upper and lower borders the angle reduces to about 110 degree or 120 degree because ramus is vertical the alveolar and subdental portion of the body are usually equal depth the mental foramen opens midway between the upper and lower borders of the bone and the mandibular canal runs nearly parallel with the mylohyoid line it becomes 110 to 120 degree now in the old ages in the old age teeth fall out and alveolar border is absorbed so height of the body 
smartly reduced. And the mandibular canal with the mental foramen opening from it is close to the alveolar border. Number three, the ramus is oblique in direction. The angle measures over 140 degree. And the neck of the condyle is more or less bent backward. Now thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe the channel.